Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Elaine O'Connor and I'm the Head of Operations with the ISQA External Evaluation Association. And I'm very pleased to welcome you all here today to the 2022 International Accreditation Programme Awards. So through the ISQA External Evaluation Association, we assess and accredit sets of health and social care standards, the severe training programmes, and also external evaluation organizations themselves. And I know I'm probably preaching to the converted here because there's many of you in the room here today. And so in our award ceremony um, here today, you can see actually that we work with um, external evaluation organizations in more than 30 countries and regions around the world. And in our presentation here today, we're just going to acknowledge some of those organizations who have achieved ISQA EEA um, accreditation for either their standards, their severe training programs, or um, the organizations themselves as external evaluation organizations in the period July 2021 to October 2022. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the awards in alphabetical order by country. And I think very appropriately, the first country on the list is going to be Australia. So what we're just asking is that when I call out your name and I'll try and um, I'm going to apologize in advance because I may not pronounce some of the names correctly, so please bear with me. Um, I'll call out the names of the representatives and we just ask all the organizations just to stand up in your row and let us know where you are in the room and we'll just give a round of applause then um, for everybody after that. So as I said, I'm starting with um, Australia and first on the list is the um, Australian Council on Healthcare Standards. Um, Australia is actually one of the countries where we have a, a number of client organizations, so there'll be a few that we're going through here today. Um, it has been a busy year for the Australian Council on Healthcare Standards, and they're a long-standing client of ISQA EEA. They actually underwent organizational accreditation um, for the sixth time, so they were accredited as an external evaluation organization, re-accredited in 2022 and their EQUIP7 hospital standards and EQUIP7 ambulatory care standards were also accredited in 2022. And uh, ACHS are represented here today um, by the president, Professor Leonard Notaris, um, CEO, Dr. Karen Luxford, Dr. Lena Lowe, Linda O'Connor, and Dr. Raman Daliwal. So ACHS, I think you're all over here. Thank you. Next up is a name that is going to be very familiar to all of you because they are, of course, the, um, Aust oh, apologies, I've gone up. the Australian General Practice Accreditation Limited, who are, of course, our um, partner for today's conference. And it's been a very busy couple of years, as all of the staff here today will attest to, not only organizing the international conference, but they have also um, been undergoing um, organizational accreditation. It was the fifth time that um, AGPAL were um, accredited as an external evaluation organization, and that was last year. They also had the QIC, Health and Community Services Standards, seventh edition, re-accredited in 2022, along with their severe training program standards. So I believe that um, AGPAL are represented in great numbers here today by Dr. Richard Chung, Gary Smith, um, CEO Dr. Stephen Clark, as well as all of the other staff. So well done, Agpal. Congratulations. Um, next up is Global Mark, PTY Limited in Australia, who were re accredited as an external evaluation organisation for the fourth time in 2021. I believe we may have a representative, Antoinette, Antoinette Mangan, in the Ms. Antoinette, you're sorry, I have the light. Congratulations. Um, we're staying in Australia, um, and next up is the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners, whose standards for general practices, fifth editions, were also re-accredited in 2022, and this again was for the fifth time. So I don't know if we have any representatives. I know they certainly have a booth in the exhibition hall. Oh, perfect. Congratulations, well done. Um, apologies, now the lights are coming down, so if I miss anyone. We're now moving to Europe and to um, Belgium, 
where the Organization of European Cancer Institutes, OECI, had their accreditation and designation program user manual re-accredited for the second time in 2022. Um, we don't actually have anyone, I don't think, in attendance from OECI. Next, we move across the world to Brazil, and Brazil is another country where we have a, a number of client organizations, and I think there'll be quite a few um, in attendance here today. We're starting with the Brazilian College of Radiology, whose um, standards for their diagnostic imaging program was re-accredited for the second time in 2022. And I believe we should have Dr. Rui Morares Macado Guimarães in attendance. Oh, congratulations. And apologies now I'm for the pronunciation. Um, we're moving on then to the Brazilian Society of Clinical Pathology and Laboratory Medicine in Brazil. And this organization had their um, clinical laboratory standards re-accredited in 2022. And they also underwent um, organizational accreditation for the second time and were successfully re-accredited in 2022. Um, we don't have a representative in attendance. Um, next, we move on then to um, IBIS, who um, underwent organizational reaccreditation in 2021. And I believe we should have, uh, for the second time, I believe we should have Alexia Mandolizi Costa. Alexia. Oh. Um, next up then is ONA, which is the national accreditation body in Brazil who were also re-accredited as an external evaluation organization in 2021. And I believe we should have uh, Fabio and uh, uh, Jovan and uh, Pericales all in the audience. Congratulations. Um, now we're moving to um, Canada, where the Canadian Accreditation Council of Human Services um, underwent their third organizational accreditation survey with us and were successfully re-accredited in 2022. Um, we don't actually have anyone in attendance from uh, the Canadian Accreditation Council. Um, next up, we're moving to Alberta, and that's to the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Alberta, who had their... Um, Diagnostic Laboratory Accreditation Standards uh, re-accredited for the third time, and they also had their Pulmonary Function Diagnostic Standards accredited for the first time in 2022, and we don't actually have anyone in attendance. Um, we're now moving to China, where the Guan Guangzhou Acephalus Healthcare Accreditation Service Company Limited um, had their severe training program accredited for the first time in 2021. And we don't have anyone in attendance, apologies. And staying in China, the Shenzhen Hospital Accreditation Research Center of China had their international hospital accreditation standards accredited for the first time in 2022. And there's no open attendance. Uh, we're moving across the world again, this time to Colombia, where iContech in Colombia um, underwent their third organizational accreditation survey and were successfully re-accredited this year in 2022. <laughs> Next, we move to Egypt, where the General Authority for Healthcare Accreditation and Regulation had a, a busy couple of years because they had four sets of standards accredited. Um, between 2020 and 2021, namely their standards for clinical laboratories, physical therapy and rehabilitation, ambulatory healthcare accreditation standards, and their diagnostic and therapeutic radiology center standards. They also underwent organizational accreditation as an external evaluation organization for the first time in 2022. And we don't have anyone in attendance. Next up, we're back to Europe and we're going to France where the Haute Authority de Santé had their HAS, Healthcare Accreditation Standards, accredited in 2021. And I believe we should have Bruno, Bruno Le Say. Oh, Bruno. Um, now we're moving to India where the Center for Accreditation of Health and Social Care, the Quality and Accreditation Institute, underwent organizational accreditation for the first time and were accredited in 2022. And we should hopefully have BK, Dr. BK Rana in attendance.
And staying in India, we move to the National Accreditation Board for Hospitals and Healthcare Providers in India, who also went, um, underwent organizational accreditation in 2022 for the third time and were successfully um, re-accredited. And I believe we should have a number of representatives in attendance. Um, Dr. Atul Mohan Kokler, Dr. Ponam Bajaj, Ms. Deepti Mohan, and Dr. Kashipa Harit. Um, staying in India then, the um, National Health Systems Resource Centre from India, they also had their surveyor training programme re-accredited in 2022. And I don't believe we have anybody in attendance from um, NHSRC. Next, we move to Japan, where the Japan Council for Quality Healthcare um, had their third organizational survey in 2022 and were successfully uh, re-accredited. So I believe we should have Akio Hirata, Koji Tobita, and Shin Yoshiro in attendance. Congratulations. Next, we're moving across the world to um, Jordan, to the Healthcare Accreditation Council, who again had a very busy couple of years because they're um, <laughs> represented by Salma Geoni. And HCAC had their primary healthcare standards accredited for the third time. And they also had their severe training program re-accredited for the fourth time. And their laboratory standards were accredited for the first time in 2022. So congratulations. Next, we move to Kazakhstan, to the Public Association of Surveyors and Consultants in the field of healthcare accreditation. And again, this organization had a very busy couple of years because they had their inpatient hospital standards and their surveyor training program re-accredited. And they also underwent um, organizational accreditation and were successfully re-accredited in 2022. So I believe we should have a number of representatives in, in, in attendance. So apologies, I'm gonna start with the pronunciations. Botogaz, Kaupieva, Varkat Gazakov, Asel Kormanova, Yeldos Yerkanov, Asenali Yelbukalev. Apologies, I think, hopefully, you're all here. Next, we move to Lebanon, where the Gates Group had their severe training program re accredited in 2021. And we don't have anybody, I believe, in attendance from the Gates Group. Next, we move to Malaysia, where the Malaysian Society for Quality in Health had their hospital accreditation standards, um, sixth edition, re-accredited in 2022. And I believe we should have Rachel Yu in attendance representing Malaysia. Yes, congratulations. Now we're back slightly closer to home here again, to New Zealand, where the DAA group in New, Ze in New Zealand were successfully re-accredited in 2022, and this was their third um, organizational survey. So I believe we should have Cathy Cummings in the audience. Cathy. Um, now we move back to the Middle East, to the Saudi Central Board for Accreditation of Healthcare Institutions in Saudi Arabia, Sabahi, who had their hospital care standards fourth edition re-accredited in 2022, and they also had their severe training program re-accredited in 2022, and we don't have anybody in attendance from Sabahi. Um, next, we move to, um, back to Europe, to Slovenia, where the American Accreditation Commission International, um, they had their standards for uh, dental organizations accredited for the first time in 2021, and they also um, underwent accreditation as an external evaluation organization in 2022, and they were successfully re-accredited. And I believe we may have some Parn Kompong in, in attendance representing AECI. No, that's fine. Um, next up, we have the Joint Commission of Taiwan, who had their hospital accreditation standards successfully re-accredited in 2022. And we don't actually, I think, have anyone in attendance from JCT. <laughs> next, we move to Thailand, and I believe we should have um, a group in attendance here. And Thailand, the Healthcare Accreditation Institute, public organization in Thailand, 
they had their, their healthcare and hospital standards reaccredited in 2021, or sorry, 2022, and they also were successfully reaccredited as an external evaluation organization in 2021. So I believe we have a number of representatives in attendance. Um, Dr. Thirupal Topkanat, um, <laughs> Professor Jurat Shriyabanathan, Dr. Piyawan Limpanayoril, and Dr. Toran Pilalal, and Wiwan Madsathan. So congratulations to the high. Um, next, we move um, to the Netherlands, where the Safe Care Foundation had the fourth edition of their Safe Care Standards successfully reaccredited in 2021. And I believe um, Trina Fortune is in attendance representing Safe Care. <laughs> Um, staying in the Netherlands, we move to um, Qualicur Europe, who um, underwent their fourth organizational survey in 2022 and were successfully reaccredited. So I believe we should have Dr. Ellen Joan van Vliet and Patricia Lahana in the audience representing Qualicur. Congratulations. Um, next, we move to Turkey, where the Turkish Healthcare Quality and Accreditation Institute had their SAS hospital kit standards reaccredited in 2021, and they also had their oral and dental health standards reaccredited in 2022. So I believe we should have Ibrahim Kayal and Didem Insegal in the audience representing. <laughs> Congratulations. Next, we move to Tunisia where um, INEAS um, also had a busy um, couple of years because they had their primary healthcare standards reaccredited in 2021, and they also had their surveyor training program reaccredited in 2022. Um, we don't actually have anyone in the, in, a, in the audience from Tunisia, but congratulations to INEAS. We're getting to the end, uh, we're down at, at you now. So we've moved now to the United Arab Emirates um, where the Dubai Healthcare City Authority Regulatory Organization had their quality standards for hospitals, the first edition of these standards, uh, accredited in 2021. And this was the first time that these standards were accredited. Um, I don't believe we have anyone in attendance from um, Dubai. And staying in the United, United Arab Emirates, the Emirates International Accreditation Centre, they also had their accreditation standards for healthcare providers accredited for the first time, and that was this year in 2022. So I don't believe we have anybody else in attendance either from um, the Emirates International Accreditation Centre. And next we move to the United States, where AABB, the Association for the Advancement of Blood and Biotherapies, they had their... Um, organization reaccredited in 2021 and their severe training program was also reaccredited in 2021 and we don't have anyone um, in, in attendance in the in the audience. And last, but by no means least, he's had a long wait. Um, staying in the United States, we have the Joint Commission International, who again had a busy couple of years because they had their accreditation standards for laboratories reaccredited in 2021, and they also had their home care standards reaccredited in 2022. And they're represented in the audience by Dr. Joel Roos. And we have come to the end of the alphabet now, so you'll, be, you, uh, you'll be glad to hear. So just congratulations to all of our client organizations. And on behalf of the team, just to say that we look forward to continuing to work with you and um, to help you to improve the quality and safety of the services in your own countries and jurisdictions. So thank you all.